Welcome to the demo video of PPM for Monday.com. In this video, we will show you how to manage projects and portfolios with an advanced Gantt chart using features like dependencies, baseline, milestone, and many more to come. Now it's time to take a closer look at it. After installing the PPM app, you can access it from the board view. Find the plus symbol on the view header menu, click it, and go to apps. Then you can scroll down through all the plugins and locate project management from PPM. Or you can also access the app by adding an item to your monday.com workspace. On the left column, locate the add button. Then choose apps and once again, you can find the portfolio management feature from PPM for monday.com in the installed app menu. Now, before anything, the PPM app requires you to map its fields with monday.com's table columns. For that, you can locate it in the three dot symbol in the PPM dashboard. Once opened, you can see two options for mapping fields. One is for the PPM board and the other is for sub items of the PPM board. Regardless, both have three fields that you can map to PPM, including timeline, assignee, and status. These are also the main fields used for tracking and managing tasks on monday.com more seamlessly. Once you have finished mapping fields, it's time to get into the task planning feature. But first, you need to input those three fields which are mapped earlier to the PPM app from the monday.com table. To plan your existing tasks, you can use the item box or hotkeys to search for a specific task. Hover the pointer onto the Gantt chart and click on it to plan that task on your board. You can also create a new task directly within the app. It can be a new group of items or simply import items to the Gantt chart. You can freely drag and drop planned tasks to designated locations, resize tasks to schedule their timelines, and unplan a task to remove its timeline property completely. Visualize task dependencies to help you manage workflow more efficiently. To make this visualization, you can simply hover the cursor over a specific task, then click on the showing dot and drag to another task. This indicates the relationship between tasks and in which logical sequence they should be completed. Besides visualizing dependencies, the app also offers an auto-scheduling feature. All you have to do is to turn this feature on with just a click. It will automatically manage your tasks and appointments after creating those dependencies. So you can still get a streamlined calendar without much effort. With the milestone feature, you can create fundamental markers to indicate important accomplishments or completion of key project deliverables. To visualize this milestone on the PPM's board, you can choose a specific task and check the box for converting that task into a milestone in the timeline tab. Or you can do it faster by right-clicking on the task itself. In project management, baselines are normally used to visualize a clear starting point for every project plan. To activate this baseline feature, you can simply go to the advanced options of the PPM board and choose Enable Baseline. This will also allow you to have an advanced Gantt view of your project entirely, and you can use it to compare the scope, cost, and schedule of your ongoing project against set expectations. Now, let's talk about portfolio management. It empowers you to manage multiple projects at the same place and on the same dashboard. And from here, you can decide to launch a specific portfolio to visualize and manage the included project's tasks. No more countless tabs or browsers. That is all about our PPM app for now. But more than those, we are also planning to bring even more exciting features to the app. Things like critical path, progress line, holiday scheme, capacity scheme, and many more in the future. All to help you coordinate and optimize your workflow more seamlessly and effortlessly. Get PPM for Monday.com and experience the difference to take your project oversight and management to the next level.